hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl mimi here again i post lifestyle content godly content and school related content so if this is the first time you're watching me on your screen please don't make it your last all you need to do is subscribe and turn on the notification button so you get notified anytime i post a new video so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the university, school, school, school. So if you're a student, come in here. If you're an aspirant, come in here as well because I'm going to be spilling out some tips and some tricks. I'm making up some suggestions that are going to help you on the long run. I want to say this before I get into the video proper. I want you to know that the university is actually an interesting place. You get to learn a lot in the university. There are so many things I didn't know till I got into the university the main thing. So university is actually a place for self-discovery and self-development. You get to learn a lot, you get to know a lot, and all of it is just aimed at making you the best version of yourself. However, we have challenges and problems in the university. In this video, I'll be pointing out some challenges and problems you possibly face in the university, and I'll be spilling out some tips and suggestions on how you can overcome some of these challenges. Challenges. So keep watching this video if you're ready to learn. I'm sure at the end of the video you must have learned a lot. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The challenges you're possibly going to face in the university. The first challenge is lack of money. You're going to need so much money in the university. Trust me, you need so you need money to get handouts, you need money to get materials, you need money to get your food stuff. Like, you need money. You, there are days you'll be broke, there are days you have money and all of that. So the truth is, you're going to be broke in school. There are days you will not have food to eat. There are days you will not have money. Like, you'll be then broke. I just want you to make peace with that. And how you can overcome that challenge? The first thing I can say is, I just need you to learn how to manage your resources. Learn how to manage the little money you have. Don't just waste your money on irrelevant things. Learn how to manage your money. That's the first thing I think you should learn how to do. The second thing is, learn how to save your money. Learn how to save your money. If it's not so important, then it's not worth getting. And the third thing I think will help you is you can start a small business. You can start a small business. You don't need so much money money to start a school business like with as low as five thousand naira you can start a a small school business so start a small school business the truth is just you learning how to balance your academics with your business like just learn how to balance that you don't have any issue i'm going to make a video on business ideas you can actually start in the university so keep watching me on this channel now the second challenge you are going to face in the university is you're going to be stressed you're going to be so stressed. Stressed. This one, I don't even need to tell you because I'm sure that maybe your friends that who are in the university are already telling you that school is stressful. And if you're already in the university, I know you can attest to this fact that school is so stressful. There are some days you wake up and you feel so tired and you don't want to go to school, but you have to go. There are some days you wake up and you just be tired, like you just be done with the whole thing. But you just have to go to school. So school is going to be stressful. I don't even know how to help you with this because I'm facing this challenge as well. There's some days I wake up and I feel so tired of school. When I got into the university, like my first year in the university, every time you see me in school, I'll be frowning. Like if <laughs> every time you see me in school, I'll be frowning. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the most depressed person. I was overthinking it, overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just joke like, you can just joke about it with your friends. Don't overthink. I just need you to relax your mind and enjoy every moment. Relax your mind and enjoy every moment. You can even make jokes with it with your friends and I'm sure you'll be fine. But the challenge is school is going to be stressful. You need to learn how to like uh, manage yourself, manage your stress and... And that's it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Now, the next challenge is this one. If you're just getting into the university, then you're going to experience this. The teaching method in the university is quite different from that of the secondary school. It's different. Like, the lecturer is going to teach you, but you need to do the extra work. You need to put in the work. If you actually want to do well academically, he's not going to give you all the information you need. And I feel that's a challenge. You need to go extra mile for your Yourself. You need to go out there, research and get the basics, the things you think are relevant to 
the subject matter remember in my hundred level i took a course from the political science department and that that department is actually crowded i'm not even going to lie that department is really really crowded i remember there are some days i will go to class and have to stand outside because lack of seats and imagine standing outside to attend the class you won't even be hearing the lecturer talking but you're just there you're just there what i later did was i made friends with students in the political science department so anytime we are having that class i'll just call my friend tell her keep reserving seats for me and she reserve a seat for me that's why in my last video i pointed out that you should make friends socialize with people don't limit your friendship just within your department and that was me trying to make the system work for me so the truth is the system is not favorable like it's not really favorable like that of the secondary school it's not really favorable like the system is made for adults that's what i pointed in my last video i said everyone is seeing you as an adult like everyone is seeing you as a big person as a big lady who can take full responsibility of his or herself so now i feel you just learn to make like just learn to make the system work for you imagine going for a class and standing outside to attend a class like that is so different that would never happen i don't i don't see that happening in the secondary school because in secondary school like all the class everything is made available for your comfort but then in the university you have to make things work for you you have to strategize and like that's why i said you are responsible for everything so you have to find a way to make the system work for you i'm sure you get the best out of the teaching method that's why in as much as it's not favorable i think there are some ways that you can make the best out of it and that's by socializing people making friends the second one attending tutorials researching and that is it actually the next challenge is accommodation issue i feel this is really really important this point cannot be overemphasized your accommodation is really really important like immediately you've gotten admission i feel this is the first thing that should be on your list don't even like gamble with your accommodation don't even gamble with your accommodation because if you don't have a good place to stay day in school it's going to affect you so i actually experienced accommodation issue in my first year in the university and this really destabilized me it really really destabilized me academically mentally physically and that ha in my first year anytime you see me i'll just keep faith because i was being drained like i was this is story for another day you just got an admission the university please start making plans for your accommodation there are two options actually you can either stay in the hostel or you can rent an apartment off the campus now if you're staying in the university yes if you're staying Staying in the campus, there are some rooms that you have two persons per room or four persons per room. Now, this is the challenge. You're going to be meeting different kinds of people, different types of people from different places. I mentioned in my last video, you're going to be meeting tacky people, dirty people, like you think you're messy. You're going to meet messier people. You think you're neat. You're going to meet people that like it will just shock you. It will shock you now it's you learning how to balance it you learning how to like deal with people learning how to socialize with people and communicate your points to people i hear some people say things like i'm not used to staying with people i don't like staying with people i don't like people in my space hmm Shay, so yeah, it's when you start staying in the hostel you know that yes there are, there are different caliber of people in this world in that time you know that yes there are there are people there are people there are people and there are other people yes because you're going to meet different kinds of people and if you're not lucky and you're placed in a room with the kind of people you don't want you have to manage that's it you have to learn how to make it work for you and i feel is the first point i can talk about that is learning how to communicate your point to people is really really important learning how to talk to people is really important the truth is people are going to get in your space people are going to take your things without permission people are going to like invade your space so i think it now like lies on you learning how to I think you should learn how to communicate your point to people in a cool way. I don't say you should quarrel people, but I think you should learn how to communicate your, your point to people. Let people know when they do certain things to you that you don't approve of. 
to you that you don't approve of now another thing is i need you to learn to be patient learn to be patient be coming down it's not every time that you'll be vexing see if you want to be vexing eh? <laughs> People will annoy you in the hostel. People will annoy you. It will hurt touch your things without your permission. That is it. In the, she has said the hostel. You are going to experience that. So I need you to learn to accommodate people. Learn to accommodate people. I'm not saying you should let people do certain things to you that you don't want. That's where communication comes. And you learn to talk to people. Learn to communicate your point to people. And at the same time, learn to be patient and learn to accommodate people. That's all I have to say about the hostel. Now, if you're staying off campus and you can afford staying alone, then that's fine. Congratulations. But then if you're staying, if you can afford staying alone, then you need a roommate. So in, get, in getting a roommate, make sure you get someone that you like, someone that like you can flow with. Don't just get anybody and say, okay, this person seems show you to your war room. Let's join money. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't make that mistake. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. In getting your roommates, make sure you get someone that you can flow with. Someone that is like teachable. Someone you can actually flow with. Someone you can have disagreements with. Learn and move on. Don't get someone that you don't want to. Me, I'm telling you now. In getting roommates, do it prayerfully. Like, be prayerfully and wisely. Be careful so that you'll be fine. <laughs> the challenges i can point out today i'm making more videos because i feel there are so many challenges in the university and i cannot just get tired of talking about these challenges i'm going to make another videos on challenges you possibly face in the university if you watch this video to the very end please comment like share and subscribe to the channel so you get notified anytime i post another video thank you so much for watching this video to the end and i'll see you in my next video Peace.